Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. So this time I'm going to show you how to do a force field, sort of like a, a magical shield effect. Uh, you can see the one I did in my Chronicle Fantastic Four video. There'll be a link in the description or somewhere on the screen. So you can just go ahead and click that and go check it out. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so I have a shot of my brother here just pretending to hold up a force field and uh, yeah that's uh, that's what I've got and this is what we're gonna do first of all I'm gonna create a new solid and I'll make it gray that's 50 R 50 G and 50 B and that makes a like middle gray effect uh, sorry solid second we're going to make a new solid and we're just going to make that a little bit brighter maybe let's see maybe 80 by 80 by 80 so that's just a much lighter gray and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the ellipse tool so i'm going to create this oval shape then i'm going to add rough and edges i'm going to turn this off again you know, decrease the scale down to maybe 60 and bring the border in so we get a really thick nice edge for this maybe even make the scale a little bit bigger yeah that's something like that's good then we'll increase the evolution so the edge has some motion to it by going to evolution time whoops time asterisk or time times a hundred that just means it's gonna have a constant flow to the edge very slight doesn't need to be too fast then we're going to duplicate that and duplicate it again and now we're going to choose the middle one just turn that first one off for a second choose the middle one we're going to go layer solid settings and then just make it a bright white color remove rough and edges and increase the feather something like that maybe maybe that and then mm sorry m twice so we can just bring the mask in like that a little bit maybe feather a bit more bring the mask in and now we're going to use that top one as a track mat so we're going to use that as a luma mat so that way sorry alpha mat not luma mat alpha mat so that way the the feather doesn't go outside of the edge of that shape and then we can play this a little bit more, maybe feather out a little bit more. Um, M twice again to get the mask expansion. Something like that's good. Okay, so now we've got that. We can pre-compose those three layers that make up the actual sh um, sort of sh uh, force field shape. So that's Command Shift C, or you can just hit pre-compose, and I'll do s and I'll just call that Shield Shape. And then I'm just going to turn off the the bottom layer solid for a second, so I can rearrange this one to where it, where it would be. So let's say it's going to be something something like that. And I'll turn this dark grey back one one back on. And then we're going to pre-compose those two together. So now we'll do uh, force field map. Okay. Now I'm going to turn that one off. Now you want to go layer, new, adjustment layer. And I'm going to add CC glass to this effect. Oops. To that layer. I'm going to add CC glass to that layer. And that goes all weird. I'm going to wiggle down the surface uh, option there and change the bump map to force field map. And as you can see, there's, you know, something funky going on. So let's reduce the softness down to two. It doesn't need to be that soft. And you can just play around with the height and the displacement, maybe 50% displacement, or you can even go really far. Whatever you think looks good. I'm just going to stick it at that. I'm going to just reposition re this a little bit. Oh, that was a little bit far. Okay. Um, so that looks good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the, the map. 
bring it all the way to the top, actually make it visible. We're going to use the plugin Find Edges to get some cool sort of, you know, edges. <laughs> Invert it. Then, if you don't have the plugin Color Vibrance by Video Copilot, then you are insane and you should get it as soon as possible because it's really good. And then you can choose whichever color portal you want. Let's go for a nice bright blue one. That looks kind of cool. And then you want to tra change the transfer mode to something that looks cool. Let's say screen. Uh, maybe add. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. So now we have a kind of a cool effect. Now what we can also do is we can duplicate this again and then just remove remove the effects from it. Oops. Uh, remove the effects from that and change it back to normal mode. Now create another adjustment layer and bring it bring it below this one we're just going to call this adjustment layer matte mat. um, and we're going to turn that one off now what you want to do is you want to add a curves sorry turn that back on you want to add a curves effect to that there's probably better ways to do this but I just normally just add a curves and then just crush the blacks there to get to get this uh, basically like a screen mat. And now turn it off and set the adjustment layer to Luma Mat. So now whatever we add to this adjustment layer is just going to happen inside of the shield. Meaning if that shield, for instance, changes the color of whatever is behind it, then we can do that. So it gives it a bluey sort of tint behind the thing. So let's just leave that. Uh, you can also maybe have it blur. Oops, have it blur whatever's behind it. That could also look kind of cool. Um, maybe just ten percent. This is where you basically want to add anything to make it look cool to be looking through the shield. Like so, what? However, the shield is distorting. Um, the light waves or something. That's what. That's how you want to do this. So you could also add. Um, I can't remember the exact thing. It's called. It's a separate. Uh, uh, yeah, simple RGB separation. Just stick that one on there. Oops, it's taken. Okay. Uh, just add that one on there. That's from Red Giant's Universe Pack. So you can just increase that to ten, maybe. So it just just adds like a separates the color channels there. So now we've basically just got this effect um, where looking through that shield kind of has a cool effect on anything that's behind it. Um, now, you could also just do it a totally different way. <laughs> and you could go into the... You could just basically delete that um, glass effect, go into the force field, turn off the background layer, and now... And then bring bring that layer back on. Let's just let's just give that a. Mm, I'm even gonna delete the the white one inside this, and it's just grey. Um, we could just give that another color vibrance. Let's give that a blue color. And then let's just choose a random thing. Duh, 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 duh screen so what, what, once you've done that you want to change the uh, the adjustment layer to alpha minus instead of luma mat and then that's kind of this is getting similar to if you saw the, the omen chronicles by ren um the reaper that's kind of this is kind of how his uh shield looked kind of that's basically how i did it and I like I like the CC glass version, but then it's a totally different style without. I mean, you can just mess around with with any of this stuff. Just giving him, just messing around with the overlay effects. Sorry, with the the transfer modes and the effects to make it look kind of cool. Um. Yeah. So 
do something cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's so that's like a cool force field effect. Maybe that's too strong. Bring that down to like 10%. And then you can also like go to the adjustment layers. You can use a tint effect. So it kind of takes the color out. But you maybe bring that after the RGB separation. So tint it down to... Tint it by 20%. Just, I don't know. Just play around with it. Make something cool. Um, yeah. That's basically a cool effect. <laughs> I I had this way better planned when I started doing it. I don't know why it's I just sort of yeah. Okay. I really do want to get around to doing some more tutorials, so I'm trying to just get a bunch out and see see how people like them. And if you do have any tips about how I could make the tutorials a little bit better, then be sure to let me know in the comments so I can try and make these better, try and make it more clear for you guys to understand me and you know, maybe I should just not babble on like I have uh, in this one. Maybe that's the first tip. Okay, so anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe for more tutorials and check out the Fantastic Four Chronicle video. And any, th any other links that I've mentioned will probably be in the description. If I can be bothered, probably not. No, I will. Um, okay, thanks for watching and adios. See you later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.